Good evening folks, 21st Century Caveman here. Hope everybody's safe, hope everybody's well. So today I'm unboxing an item which I've just received from Amazon. It's a gift for my son, so this isn't a review. I just thought I'd do an unboxing with you, um, check this item out, have a look at it and give you my initial impressions. So this is a gift as I say for my son for helping me out with a recent project. So the item in question then is a Maxpedition Proteus Versipack. So my son does a lot of mountain biking then and he does a few trails but he also rides around town or the city on it with his friends and also goes out on his own and I thought this would be an ideal waste pack for him just to carry the essentials when he's out and about basically and I think this would be useful for things like him carrying a phone, charger, putting his keys in there, perhaps a small first aid kit, some basic tools, emergency poncho, that sort of thing. Now this bag then you can carry it in three ways. So as I've already mentioned you can wear it around your waist. It's got a very large two inch or 50 millimeter wide webbing strap and as far as I can gather if you've got a waist of about 50 inches you know this should fit. So it's very versatile, it can go around your waist, you can sling it over your shoulder and wear it sort of bandolero style. And it also has a carrying strap, a very strong carrying handle. Now, although this comes with a waist strap, it doesn't actually come with a shoulder strap. So if you wanted one, you'd have to buy that separately. Now, anybody who's familiar with the name Maxpedition, will know it's synonymous with rugged build and quality. So their items are made of premium materials and should last for absolute years, possibly even a lifetime, depending on how old you are, of course, if it's treated reasonably carefully. So the overall dimensions for this item then are 11 by seven by three and a half inches. If you're a metric person, it's round about 279 by 178 by 89 millimeters so this item then does come in a variety of colors obviously this is a black one and the material it's made of appears to be a very high quality Kujura so there's also a couple of D clips on this end which is where you would attach your shoulder strap to if you bought it separately now just looking at this at first blush this does appear to be an extremely strong and durable item. As I say, it's also versatile because you can wear it in a number of configurations. And just sort of, you know, having a look at this and a little bit of a play with it, this is typically round about sort of two size of um, your average bomb bag because that's effectively what it is, otherwise known as a fanny pack if you're in the US. So what I like about this then is the fact that it does appear to be a very strong and very durable item. It's also versatile because it can be carried in a number of configurations. I do like the fact that you've got two separate end pockets because this does enable you to separate different items, which basically means they're easier to access. Another thing I like about this is the fact that the zips appear to be very sturdy and very strong. Because with items like this, you tend to find that the zips and the stitching go. And in terms of the stitching, that's been stitched up very well indeed. I think from a negative side, there's too much webbing on this, this pulse webbing. And the reason you have this is to attach numerous different things. But I think the reality is there does come a point with a, with a small item like this where, yes, you can attach 101 things to it. but there comes a point where it becomes either too heavy, too uncomfortable, or too impractical to, you know, attach loads and loads of stuff. So in terms of possible uses then, I think this would make a wonderful bag for a cyclist, or possibly even a motorcyclist, which would just give them the opportunity to carry around the bare essentials, you know, just the minimum stuff, just in case you need to get yourself out of trouble, and to carry your bare essentials, really. I think it'd also be great for walking or hiking, but only for short treks because, you know, you're limited as to what you can put in here. I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, if you use your loaf, you know, and um, you're quite innovative, you can get a lot of stuff in here. But I would stress, of course, that the more stuff you pack in here, 
or hang from it, the more uncomfortable it may become and therefore I suppose you're less inclined to wear it really aren't you. I think this would also be good for your typical adventurer. You could make a, put a brilliant survival kit in here. Um, you could put a, a good first aid kit in here or a combination of both of the aforementioned. I think this would also be absolutely fantastic if you're on holiday and you know you just want to um, carry your essentials without lugging a big bag around. I mean for example you could have a phone, a wallet, um, you could put your passports in there, some money, sun cream, insect repellent, a flashlight, sunglasses, medications, you could have hand gel, some wipes and all that good stuff. So you can fit a fair bit of stuff in here providing you don't overload it. And um, I think also this would make a wonderful little bag to take with you if you go walking a dog. It means that you can have both hands free. You can put your poo bags in there, a torch, wallet, purse, and all that good stuff basically. So I think this is um, a wonderful little bag. Very strong, very durable. Now I paid £45 for this, which I think is probably the higher tier of what I pay for this. I wouldn't pay any more than £45 for this unless I had a specific task or a specific job which this was absolutely perfect for. I mean there are lots of different products out there, most of which aren't going to be built anywhere near as good as this, but obviously you've got to look at value for money, you've got to look at the what you're paying in terms of the size and the utility of the item. And yeah, so 45 quid, I'm quite happy to pay that as a gift for my son or indeed as a gift for myself, but I wouldn't pay much more than that if I'm honest. And I have seen these up to 75 pound on various websites, which I think is ridiculous really. But anyway, there we go, each to their own. Now I will be doing another video within the next few days and I'll be comparing this Maxpedition Versipack and doing a side-by-side -side comparison with a one tigris bag which i actually have um, they're very similar but they do differ so i think that's going to be a really interesting comparison and you know if you're in the market for a product like this then i think a comparison like this between two very similar products would be absolutely invaluable anyway look i'm going to stop waffling i hope you've enjoyed the video thank you for watching and I'd really appreciate it if you were to join me in the next video. Have a good day where you are. Bye-bye.